Hi friends, welcome to this video. So we are learning a web form concepts in a Drupal 10 website. In our previous video, we have completed a section 1, section 2, section 3 and section 4 concepts. Now in this video, we will see the section 5th concept that is how to make a elements to float next to each other. So this is an important concept. So let's see how to do this. So I will just open my Drupal website and here I have already logged in with the admin username. So just let's open the web forms, click on the structure and just scroll down, click on the web forms. So here you can see our form that is a inquiry web form. Just click on a build. So here you can see all the elements which we have created on, in our previous video and just open this view in a new tab so we can see the front end view of this web form how it's looking so here you can see in our last video we have seen how to create how to add a conditions to a web form and we have just created this drop down so if you just select any one option then that element will just occur below of it if i just select a phone number that element will just occur and here if I just fill this um, element then only that message element will come up. So till this we have seen in our previous video. Now let's see how to make a elements to float next to each other. So for that what we need to do is we need to add a layout. So here just click on add layout and here you can see that flex box layout element a name of it is you can just open from here as well like by just clicking on a add layout or you can just open from the adding element as well so just click on add element and here search for the flex box here you can see the flex box layout so from here also you can just open it so it just provides a one box container which is used to um, uh, which is used to place a layout elements in a multiple columns so just click on add element and here you can see it's asking the key for that flexbox layout element. So I will just give it as a layout. Um, I'll just give as a one. So instead of giving a space in between layout and a one, it's, it's good to just give a underscore. So space doesn't make a sense. Giving an underscore, it is a good habit. So I'll just give it as a layout underscore one here and I will just save this element. Oh, one error message is coming up. The key element key name must contain only lowercase. Okay, yeah, this we need to make sure that uh, here I have typed a capital. So we are not supposed to give a capital uh, letters. So just give a small letter naming here and just save it. So here you can see that layout has been added here. Now just move this layout to a top. And this I will be gonna adding this name and preferred contact option under the layout. Okay, and I will just click on save elements. So now I will just reload my front end. Now here you can see that I have under the one this layout element I have just moved this two elements name and a preferred contact option so under this layout one we having a two elements and that's why it's just getting distributed with the 50 50 um, kind of a space so the whole uh, row used to have a 12 uh, kind of a grid system so just let me show you that here you can see if I just click on a edit option in the name just come down and here you will see the flexbox item so here flexbox one is there right if here i can just from the count it is one to twelve it is there so in one row twelve grid system we used to have it so twelve kind of elements we can place it but that space of that each element used to come in a smaller space so here it's taking a default that 50 50 in the sense six six um, kind of a um, grid system it's taking now if i just set it as a four to this and what i will do is to the preferred contact location i will just give as a eight so total is a 12 right so for the first element i have given a four and for the next item i will just give it as a eight so four plus eight is 12. so now just let me reload this page 
now you can see the name element is in the four grid system and the preferred contact option is in a eight grid system so four plus eight is a twelve so total row used to have a twelve grid system ka function so like this we can just do it or else if i what i will do no i this email also i will move it inside and i will just save this element okay now here what will happen I have given four and this is to eight so this will come in the next only right so what i will do is here <clears throat> i will just give as a four 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 so that we every element will be having a same spacing so here you can see instead of a 8 i will just give it as a 4 and i will just save it and here in the email i will just click on edit and for this email element also i will give it as 4 and i will just save it so now i will just go to front end and i will just reload it so now here you can see the third uh, the third column is just empty here why because if once we select from this drop down any of the option then only that will just gonna come up here if i just select a phone number then only it will phone number it will come in the next why because here we have included only email under the layout one so phone number definitely will come below of this layout so if i just select a email then only it will come up in the third row so this kind of grid system we can just do it so it's like a total 12 uh, grid system we have under this flexbox layout so as according to our convenient we can just give it manually also so now what i will do is that i will just give a 4 to the name field and i will just give a 8 flex to the preferred contact option then it would be looking good so just let me edit it and here in the flexbox item i will just give it as 8 and I will just save it. Just let me reload the front end. So now here you can see. Just let me reload it once again. 4, 8. Yeah. Why this is occurring? Because here you can see the email I have included under the layout only. Right. So that I need to drag to a left. So that it's not a part of layout 1 just save this element now uh, the, the layout under a layout two elements only is there one is the name and one is a preferred contact option so now it will come four flex for the name element and uh, eight flex for the preferred contact option so here if i just click on email then the below element will just come up and if i just fill this then only message field will just come up so this is how we can do um we can make uh, elements uh, to float next to each other so we can include all the elements also under the one layout and we can just um, manage this flex count as according to it but at the end under one layout the total flex count should be at 12 so in that way we should manage it so this is uh, how we can just um, make the elements to come to next to each other so that's it for this video thank you guys for watching this if you like this video then please uh, subscribe this channel thank you